We have learned that an electric current in a magnetic field can experience a magnetic force. And the current is basically flowing and moving charges. So moving charges should experience magnetic force as well. To find the magnetic force on a moving charge, we can start with this equation. I times L cross B. Because the definition for electric current is charge flow per unit time. So this is what we have. And then what is the L divided by time? The length, the displacement divided by time, is the velocity. So this equation turns into Q times V cross B. And this is the equation for us to find the magnetic force on a moving charge. And of course, we know that the cross product is the magnitude of the first vector times the magnitude of the other vector times the sine, the angle between the two vectors. So it's sine, the angle between V and the B. For example, a proton is projected into this three Tesla magnetic field. The axis over here tells us that the direction of the magnetic field goes into the paper. The speed of the proton is 2 times 10 to the 4th meters per second. Find the magnitude and the direction of the magnetic force acting on this proton. The charge of the proton is uh, elementary charge, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulomb. The speed of the proton is 2 times 10 to the 4th meters per second. The strength of the magnetic field, 3 teslas. And then we need to do the sign, the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field. Velocity goes to the right, the magnetic field goes into the paper. So the angle between the two is 90 degrees. Velocity and the magnetic field, that's 90 degree angle. So this is sine 90 degree angle, and the sine 90 degrees is 1. So this gives us 9.6 times 10 to the negative 15th Newton. To find the direction of the force, we have to use right-hand rule. We have to do the crossing, the V cross B. So we use this right-hand rule. We have to first face our palm in the direction of the B. And uh, ro keep the palm facing the direction of B and uh, rotate our hand until our forefingers line up in the direction of V. Now we can do V cross B. We can start our forefingers in the direction of V and then bend towards the direction of B. And this whole time, the thumb goes that way. That means uh, the direction of the magnetic force goes that way. When we do the right-hand rule, the thumb, the direction of the magnetic force, is always perpendicular to the velocity and perpendicular to the magnetic field. Perpendicular to the velocity and the magnetic field. Does a force that is always perpendicular to the velocity remind you of anything? What shape path do you think this proton in the magnetic field will follow? Does this remind you of a uniform circular motion? This proton will do circular motion in the magnetic field because the velocity is tangent to the circle and and the perpendicular magnetic force provides the centripetal force towards the center in the radial direction to keep the proton in circular motion. When the proton gets here, the velocity is uh, tangent to the circle. And uh, V cross B, the magnetic force goes uh, that way, still towards the center. Because the magnetic force does not have any component in the tangential direction, it cannot provide a tangential acceleration to change the speed of the proton. We can also look at the work done by the force. The magnetic force is always perpendicular to the path of the moving charge, so it does not do any work on the moving charge. Because the work done by a force is the force times the displacement times the cosine the angle between the force and the displacement. And the angle between the force and the displacement is always 90 degrees. So this is uh, 
force times displacement times cosine 90 degrees and the cosine 90 degrees is zero. So magnetic force cannot do any work. The magnetic force cannot give any energy to the moving charge, cannot remove any energy from the moving charge. Magnetic force cannot change the kinetic energy of the charge, cannot change the speed of the charge. What if the charge coming in is a negative Q? If it is a negative moving charge going this way, it means the positive charge flow, the electric current, is in the opposite direction. Therefore, the magnetic force on the negative charge would be in the opposite direction to that on a positive charge. Which means if the moving charge is negative, we have to do the V cross B and then flip the sum to get the direction of the magnetic force. Because the magnetic force goes down, the negative charge would curve down in a circular motion. And what if the particle coming in is neutral with no net charge? What path would a neutral particle follow? If Q is zero, there will be no magnetic force. So the neutral particle does not bend. It travels along a straight line. This tells us that if we shoot a particle into a magnetic field in a direction that is perpendicular to the magnetic field, we can find out what kind of charge the particle carries by observing whether and how the particle curves in the magnetic field.